Hello friends, welcome to East Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I am nearing a very famous and very haunted roadway called Frenchtown Road. If you ask any of the locals around, they all, they all are surprised that I'm even coming out here. Some very weird and terrifying things that, you know, urban legends you might say, that have happened out here. So I thought it was a good idea to come check it out. So, let's go check it out. When I was looking up haunted places in Baton Rouge, Frenchtown Road didn't come up. I had to specifically find this and ask around to some of the local people. It was a very kind gal that worked at the hotel I was staying at that told me about Frenchtown Road and some of the stories associated with it. In the few days that I stayed here in Baton Rouge, I asked around to several people if they had heard any other stories about Frenchtown Road, knew anything else about it. And sure enough, everyone that I asked did know something. Mostly, I heard stories about high school beer drinking parties that happened out here in the olden days. But nothing really crazy, except for one blog post that I did find online. It gave some more information than what some of the locals knew. At the very end of Frenchtown Road is the Frenchtown Conservation Area. It's a park that was opened by Breck. It's the local park system here in East Baton Rouge. Well, the bridge that we cross over to get into this parking lot is really the the place of most urban legends. This is where they say that somehow a, a school bus, which I'm not really sure how it would happen here, but a school bus was hit by a train and killed all of the students on board, including the driver. And now when you park your car under the bridge and you turn your car off, it, they say that it doesn't start again. Other reports claim that if you turn off your car and shut the lights off, you turn your lights back on and there will be bloody handprints of a girl that was killed by a train right here on these tracks. There are countless stories of strange things happening, not just here at the bridge, but also at the last house on the left before you get to the bridge here on Frenchtown Road. Supposedly a witch lived in the house. And even today you can drive by at nighttime and see a red light flashing in the window, supposedly. If you go to that driveway and turn your car off, they say also that your car will not start there. But here, over the years, there's been lots of spray paint, graffiti, very satanic in nature. And now some locals or alternate graffiti artists, I guess, have come in and tried to change that a little bit by spray painting some positive things in its place. But still, uh, along some of these beams, are painted things like portal to hell and welcome to hell and some other bad things. Also some satanic symbols have been commonly seen out here, but that's not it. It's not just the graffiti. Stories go that if you walk on the tracks, that oftentimes you'll see apparitions or hear things like people screaming, people banging on the bridge, possibly see some people like the ones that have been reported out here on the tracks. More than one account of a man in a trench coat with a bald head that creepily walks around and scares people off. A scary cat lady has been reported out here you know, among other weird ghostly apparitions right here on these tracks. Over the years, lots of reports of dead animals and pentagrams that are made out of stone and spray paint, of course, but sacrificial situations, things that are very spooky for those of us that don't partake in such crazy things. But that's all happened right here. Now that it's a park, I assume that there's maybe less activity out here. I don't really see a whole lot of graffiti. It looks like most of it's been covered up and uh, taken care of since the park has possibly been here, but kind of an eerie place. Just nearby here is where two rivers come together. And typically you'll hear stories of where two rivers meet that weird, haunted, crazy things happen. A lot of people believe that that is a portal to another dimension or to uh, somewhere else that's not here. So 
perhaps that could be part of the reason that some weird things have been seen out here. But who knows? Who knows? One other legend is that if you lay down on the tracks that you'll hear weird noises coming from underneath the bridge. So I'm going to try that. Experience anything, didn't hear anything, didn't uh, experience any portals to the other side, nothing so far out here. Uh, haven't seen anything really weird either, but you know, the stories go that it, it's a crazy place. There's so many stories that come from this railroad track and this bridge and this road, there's bound to be some truth behind those stories. In place of pentagrams or covering pentagrams, you see hearts and uh, Johnny Loves Mary and stuff like that now. Nothing really too terrifying out here. This informational board shows a map of the two rivers, the Comite River and the Amite River. They come together right here and meet. And we are right here. We do have some nice trails around here apparently as well. This is the largest of the Breck Parks. It's 3,000 acres of conservation area with 14 miles of Blue Way trails. I think that's like waterway trails. I'm not really sure, but it's a, it's a big park. Surely all through these trails are locations of experiences by people. They say down near the water is where some of the ritual activity has happened alongside around this bridge area. There's even reports of murders and dead bodies found out here near the waterway and where some of these rituals take place. I've never been one to really buy into the hype of this, the spiritual darkness of these rituals and, and so on. I think there's a lot of fear mongering that happens with that, but hearing reports of charred up animals and, uh, and pentagrams of fire and, you know, weird stuff like that does lend itself to be a little creepy. Kind of a weird world we live in sometimes, huh? You know, people choose, choose a different path. So something weird did just happen. Uh, the car pulled up and a guy got out and just walked down the trail a little bit. And I didn't pay much attention. And then it, I turned back around and the guy is gone. He just popped in the woods somewhere, but just an odd, odd interaction. I said hello to the guy, but he was super weird. Hopefully that's the only really strange thing that happens out here. But uh, now it's time to roll the car underneath the bridge and turn it off. Let's see if it starts up again. Okay, here we are. Okay, parked. Vehicle is off. Back on the road. Don't turn your car off, mailman. That's it, it's the last driveway. Now it's time to go find some more haunted locations in Baton Rouge. Thanks for watching today, friends. I'll see you in the next video.